Let's go look at the animals. Welcome to the world of Donald Edwards, a neurobiologist who roams a basement at Georgia State University to further what has become his life's work. They're just neat critters. Aggressive? Highly aggressive. His research subjects are crawfish, scientific name Camberus virilis. The bottom feeding inhabitants of ponds and rivers across North America, they are pampered and cared for in Donald Edwards's world, a world where the naturally aggressive tendencies of the bony crustacean is fodder for innumerable scientific inquiries. A group of these together, if you crowd them, they will begin to take each other apart. And I mean that literally. As soon as there's any blood in the water, they will swarm onto the one that's wounded and dismember it. As a neurobiologist, Edwards is naturally interested in serotonin, which is the neurotransmitter that can make crawfish and perhaps people more aggressive. Okay, friend. His technique is simple. Put the combatants in a fish tank together, watch what happens, and measure the neural impulses. The idea is that they fight and they form dominance hierarchies within the first few minutes. This shows normal fighting behavior, but you will see that this animal produces what we call offensive tail flips during this fighting. This provides a lovely then model for looking at different um, uh, behaviors associated with social status, social rank, um, also with different kinds of aggression. Edwards leads a sizable group of like-minded researchers who are similarly in the thrall of Camberus virilis, staging fights, recording the findings. Look at that left claw. Bam. And testing the effects of serotonin enhancers, the most famous of which is Prozac, the antidepressant given to legions of humans battling their own neurobiological demons. The notion is that other animals will probably be similar, perhaps even ourselves. And while the research is ongoing on whether Prozac impacts crawfish the same way it affects humans. I think they're great. On the other hand, I'm glad they're this size. Donald Edwards will be there when the findings come in, bringing his climbing, clawing world of crawfish a little bit closer to where the rest of us may dwell. Doug Richards, Fox 5 News.